And in this package, theoretically, is the new, well really it's not new on the market, it's new to me, uh, RTL SDR dongle that was originally intended to be used in Europe for digital television. Someone discovered that uh, with a new DLL and some free software on Windows, Mac, and Linux that you can have a software-defined radio with this $20 dongle in this package. 20 bucks. Got it from Amazon. Took them about a day to get it here, so that surprised me too. Pretty happy about that. So let's go ahead and open it up. So I put my hairy little hand inside this bag, and outside comes some kind of packaging. So it looks like there's an antenna, there's the, yeah, there's pieces of antenna, cable, the dongle itself from Newelec, N-O-O-E-L-E-C, Newelec, New Electric. Um, there's a remote control in here too, which I think I'm not really going to make much use of, although I have seen people use it. So I'll just need to get my computer. I've, I'm going to normally use this on a desktop, but I'm also going to try it out on a laptop first just to kind of isolate it and see what the software does. And um, I will show you the downloads and all that good stuff. And as usual, we have a cat that shows up to um, make sure that I'm doing everything right. I don't plan these things. He just kind of shows up. Here's the USB dongle itself um, underneath here is the actual USB. And this packaging is rather interesting. It uh, looks like it's a uh, hard plastic, but it's almost rubberized. It's like a hint of rubber to it. Um, very interesting. And then right here is the antenna MCX connector. So you plug the antenna in there. Some air holes for breathing. RTL SDR. And then uh, that wasn't just an antenna cable, that was actually the antenna cable attached to a base here. That go on. It's a mag mount, which um, you know, definitely for transmitting you'd want to have this on a metal surface because it, that gives you the counterpoise. Um, effectively the other half of the, the antenna. But uh, on receive, um, it matters too. But you see a lot of people just setting these um, almost anywhere and they still get pretty good reception. Um, still, I'll probably try to put it on something metallic to get at least a little bit of counterpoise. Um, the new Elec USB RTL SDR antenna, antenna base cable cap to protect the uh, USB connector and a remote that I may or may not use. Little Detroit Rock City going on on uh, 101.3. It's an old laptop. It can barely handle doing the digital signal processing to run this program but you can see the dongles right there I got the antenna off on the side it is all running on this old laptop I wanted to try it on this old laptop first um, just to see what I was getting into before I actually installed it on the desktop that where it's gonna sit um, you know just kind of as a sandbox and you can see here that the CPU usage is pretty much pegged on this two core. It's older two core. It is Windows 8.1, but uh, yeah, it's definitely an older machine. It can barely, it's barely usable for even browsing the web. This laptop's pretty much on its way out, but it's nice to have something like this around that I can at least try as a sandbox. So here it is, I'm maxing out this laptop. This is the SDR Sharp software with a RTL SDR dongle pulling in an FM station, FM stereo station, um, and maxing out the CPU on this laptop. So we'll definitely get better performance on the desktop machine once I get it installed there. And on the um, desktop machine, I'll be using a screen capture program, which can um, you know capture the entire screen. Will look a lot better than just holding my phone up here to the screen. Um, although there is the chance that it might be that this software takes so much processing power that I won't be able to run that screen capture and this at the same time. But we'll find out. I mean, that new desktop, the new desktop has eight cores. It can go up to four gigahertz. Um, 
We got 16 megs of RAM, although the RAM amount probably won't make any difference. Um, but it is faster RAM, faster bus speeds, just a faster, better processor. Um, and even some of the graphics will probably you know, be offloaded onto the graphics card that's on there. So I expected this laptop to be overpowered somewhat by this software. I'm actually surprised that it's working as well as it does. And it is actually working very well. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo.